May is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month, and for the next four weeks, we'll bring you special stories about your neighbors. Tonight, we start in Norwalk. News 12 Connecticut Suzanne Goldklang takes us to the Oriental Food Market, which has expanded its business thanks to a famous friend who wanted some egg rolls. My dad needed something to um, make a living on, so my dad decided to do an Asian grocery store. A continent of tastes in one place. Like all the soy sauces, right? I just don't have one kind of soy sauce. It's a whole variety of soy sauce. For almost like 20 not... years, the Oriental food market's been satisfying cravings. And what are you looking for? Just brown rice. Just brown rice, this yes. Is like short, this is me medium grain, yeah. Okay. Fresh bok choy, fresh scallion, fresh ginger. Everything you look at can teach you a lesson. Filipino ice cream may have beans in it. This looks like beans, but it's actually candy from Thailand. And this is really preserved plum and it's really salty. Japanese snacks seduce. Which one would you buy? Which is the happier package? The Japanese package versus the Chinese package. <laughs> and this, I'm a Chinese telling you. Huang Lu's dad started up after leaving his brother's takeout joint, despite a lucky location. Junior Stu was, uh, went to go knock on my uncle's door, right? Yeah, and yeah. he goes, hey, um, can you guys make egg rolls for, well, yeah, uh, for yeah, us, for Stu's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, uh, my uncle turned it down. My dad was furious. Thanks to that connection, the operation expanded. We have um, the wholesale business, uh, which uh, Stu's has helped us with. Now distributing about a quarter of the Asian food sold countywide. I mean, that's how I grew up, working in a store like this. Family businesses build bonds. It's just a, a symbol of working hard, right? Something Kwong's passing along to Madeline, who soon turns two. She's using my same little table when I was growing up. <laughs> in Norwalk, Suzanne Goldklang, News 12, Connecticut.